I'm a little disappointed in myself because yeah. last night yeah. I forgot to put up the babies and separate them from the mama fancy too. And now I don't have any milk from her. So, boo. Boo, hoo, hoo. But that's okay because I'll remember tonight because I set an alarm on my phone so that I won't forget again. Because, man, getting that extra almost half a gallon of milk was like, wow, this is really paying off taking care of these goats and buying all their food. But their food has been extremely um, easy to do, adding on the extra goats, because I've been splitting up what I feed, making sure I'm giving the proper amount instead of overfeeding, um, which I wasn't overfeeding by very much. What I was doing is giving them a treat in the evenings all the time and I was giving them like a whole scoop so now I just give them like a little bit in the pan just to get them you know as a reward for coming in and behaving so that's working much better and I'm using about the same amount of feed now that I've cut where I needed to cut so it's working out great and the fermenting the chicken feed has cut our feed in half so that's huge and if you are not fermenting your chicken feed you need to all you do is add water to it that's it. That's it. It's so easy. And we did it a while ago and then stopped for whatever reason. So I, I, I'm like kicking myself for all these years of paying twice as much for chicken feed. But we're, we're doing it now. We're saving money. We're making money, hopefully, in the future. And loving it. So, all right. I guess I'm going to try to see if I can get a few squirts out of Fancy too, anyway, just to get her used to the practice. Just coming out here to do my morning chores and I saw that our resident buzzards were up in the tree above the old house. I think they're so cool. Um, buzzards have a bad reputation. They are not bad creatures. They are actually really great and they're awesome to have around the homestead. Um, they clean up any any dead animals that may be around from for whatever reasons and they keep everything clean and sanitized they're actually extremely clean creatures so we are proud to have them this is a pair with their offspring from this spring they nested in the roof of that old house and we have been watching the baby grow so it's been really cool and they do not harm our animals, so you don't have to worry about that. They, they're they scavengers. They don't go after live prey. At least these don't. <laughs> I don't think any of them do, but um, they're really cool. So those are our buzzards. I think they're awesome. Two rescue squad chickens are perched on the ground. I'm going to have to grab them and put them in the coop. And this is when I have Liam out here with me. So I'm hoping he stays right here and doesn't move. Right, Liam, you're gonna stay right there and play on the slide while I grab those chickens and throw them in the coop. Okay? Okay. Well, it figures I caught one, but not the other. So now I gotta try to throw it in and get this one in. I got it. One of the chickens just fell off its perch, but I got this one. I'm gonna put it in. This is one of the hard parts of keeping dairy going. Yeah. I have to separate the babies from their mama. Oh, that's so sick. But it's good because we get more milk. And the babies are already sleeping, so I'm gonna go in there and they're gonna run for me. And I'm gonna scoop them up and give them kisses and put them in the other stall with fancy a little. I could where they knew that I was doing that because they ran to mommy and nurse and so I held them right there for a minute and let them nurse get as much as they could for their last little sip and then I scooped them up and put them in and you'll hear that sound oh but it's a, it's a good thing and they're growing up and they're getting more milk so that's great and good night y'all and go to bed now.